Welcome back to the Midget Mitch YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're diving back into the Tribute Split Project that started off as a 65 coupe. We're gonna install a new windshield frame, tie that into the roof structure of the birdcage, and then finish off the B pillars and just get the structure of the birdcage wrapped up. So be sure to stick around. So I left off the video last time showing you, I uh, was at a little bit of, I wouldn't call it an impasse, but we were having a little bit of a, a difficult situation getting the door tops to fit the roof. So uh, I spent about an hour and a half yesterday fiddling with it, adjusting the doors, tweaking parts of the birdcage, and then I had to bring the, these pillars forward, bring the windshield up, and you can see that it's already a lot better, right? If I push down on the roof skin, that's about where it needs to be. It's just a really loose mock-up right now. The bonding strips are just floating in here. Nothing is really secured all that well, and there's glue here and there. So this is mainly just to see if we're in the right ballpark. So I took the roof off the birdcage and I came back through here and leveled out the rocker just to make sure that we're building on a solid foundation. We decided to go a slightly different path here. So I was gonna splice the windshield pillars together and the windshield frame back together, which there's nothing wrong with that, um, but we have a lot of reproduction parts already for this car. I also noticed there's a little bit of damage on this top cap here. It's ramped up right now, which is making this part of the windshield set higher than that side. So what we decided to do to remedy some of the bias in all these little pieces of the windshield frame is to install a whole new windshield frame. So this is for a convertible. You can buy them pre-assembled like this. They're built in a jig and MIG welded and spot welded the whole way around, just like the factory would have done. Uh, so we're gonna use this guy. Now this is for a convertible because it has these little tabs up here. And then obviously there's nothing flowing into the roof. Um, but what we can do is remove this old windshield frame, fix this damage, put that windshield frame in place, make sure it lines up with the doors properly. And once we're happy with that, we can introduce the roof over here and we can splice the roof in because the biggest difference between the coupe and convertible would be this area right here, which this area is in pretty good shape. So we can come through here, cut this off, I decided to make a template for each side out of my favorite cereal box. And this is just a real quick template you can make in a couple minutes because you wanna make sure you collect all the data you can while the car is together. Because once this pillar is off, you lost, you lost everything. And if you go, if you're building a windshield from scratch, you can kind of position this thing all around here. There's some wiggle room. Once I remove the pillar, I can lay this template here, I can clamp it or tape it in place, and we can put the new windshield roughly in this area, clamp that in place on both sides and check it with the doors. This will at least get us in the right ballpark. We can make adjustments from there, but this is just a quick reference to make sure that we're, we're going the right way. So now I'm gonna go through here and find all these spot welds and drill my spot welds, which is my favorite thing in the world. I've gotta drill them here, and then we have to drill them on the inner flange there's some that go across over there. We'll get these chunks of the windshield off. I have to manipulate this pillar down, this cap down a little bit. Um, and then I'll drill some holes or punch some holes in this guy here. And then we'll use some weld through primer on that. Get all this stuff ready, because if I'm happy with the placement, we're gonna start welding it in. I don't want to take it on and off a bunch of times.
So I have the windshield frame and the roof structure mocked up into place, and it's pretty close, but we have some interferences. This whole piece needs to move forward up to here, so I need to remove this gold part, and this green part will overlay it. So this edge is right here. So I'll have to cut this little chunk out on both sides, throw that away. Then we can really get this piece in here, and then the doors and stuff should line up a little better. Um, but so far it's going well. This, is, this windshield doesn't sit exactly where the old one uh, did, which if we need to make adjustments, we will. But so far it looks like it's lining up pretty well with the door pillars, I'm pretty happy. So now I have the windshield frame cut out and the roof is now nested in it. And overall it's fitting pretty tight. I left a little bit of slack in here so I can move these pieces around. I'll have to come back in here and fill this in and make a little filler piece here on both sides. But I had to cut out the underside as well. And overall things are lining up pretty well for this rough mock-up. Now my template tells me that this pillar should move up forward um, and maybe out this way a little bit and the other side's telling me the same thing. So I think what I need to do is bend this flange out a little bit, and then also maybe manipulate the hinge pillar top a little bit to make this thing come forward because we're having a little bit of interference with the door right in here is hitting this pillar here. So I think if we slide this forward a little bit, we can avoid some of that. And then on this side, again, I think we just need to move this pillar forward just a little bit, but everything's fitting really close. Uh, overall, if I push the door closed, you can see that our top height is looking pretty good. So right now I'm working on dialing in the B-pillar fitment on the birdcage. I got the latches uh, from the doors and storage and I have strikers in place. And I just wanted to roughly set this roof on to make sure that we're in the ballpark. Make sure that the cutout for the roof is lining up with the doors. Make sure our height is looking pretty good and there's no bonding strips in here. So the roof is gonna be low and it's kind of just sitting, like I said, roughly there's air gaps the whole way through here and I have some of my rigging in here. So there will be some biases in here and the floor tub is not here. So kind of ignore some of this action here. This is just real rough, but man, look at this thing. This is going to be a good looking car. So again, this is very rough mock-up. The door actually won't fully close just because there's a little bit of flashing in some areas and really no bonding strips. So, you know, it's rough, but you can tell that the door opening looks good. Our height is looking pretty close in some areas here and here. It's a little, the roof's a little low here, but again, it's still very workable. This is in the right realm. I'm pretty happy with the way everything is fitting up here. So what this tells me is if this moves forward a little bit, we'll gain just a little bit of a gap in here, which is what we want. That'll help close the gaps up back here. And we know that the door is pretty much where it needs to live. So. I'm pretty comfortable with the way that this is looking right now. So I think we can go ahead and make sure that, I don't have a latch in this door, or a striker on this pillar. Make sure this pillar lines up properly. Then we can go ahead and burn these pillars in. We'll fix the structure on that side. And then we need to fix a little bit of rust down here.
So I have the birdcage structure pretty much all wrapped up here. I removed what was left of the birdcage jig. I came in here and made some little filler pieces. I started filling up the little relief cuts I put in the uh, roof structure. And then I came in here and made a patch for this bottom corner here. This was rotten out and a little bit of the structure behind it was rotten. So I cut that out, made this little indent piece here. So I have to blend all this together still. I have to blend all the welds together. Um, but overall, it's turning out pretty nice here. So I think the next thing to do is to remove the gutters because, well, the gutters, I had to bend a lot of them just to be able to work on the birdcage. So I need to remove these so we can actually get the doors properly fit um, and then start to fit the new ones. You can see I had to manipulate these ones quite a bit. So I'm gonna come in here either just with the air hammer and blast them out or come in here, drill or grind out the spot welds, or remove all the gutters. And I have a whole brand new set we can start to fit in. I'll have to inspect these guys because these actually look like they're in pretty decent shape. So I'll have to figure out what to do about that. Um, but overall though, everything looks like it's in really nice shape. I pretty much have all the structural work on the birdcage wrapped up here. And I started removing the gutters in here. I wanted to try to keep these lower corners down here, but once you start removing the gutter and you look at the back side of this, you realize, well, it's only a matter of time until this becomes a problem. And we already have brand new ones. So they're not that expensive. We'll just put new drip rails and gutters on this thing. Um, but this is where I'm gonna leave the video off right now because I will have to eat lunch and edit this video so you guys can watch it tonight. Um, but I just need to come back through here, clean all this metal out, make all this real nice, treat the rust, fix any little damage in here. Uh, and then I also have a little bit of welding to do on the underside. I have to prep that, get the drip rails to fit, get this to blend in a little better. Um, but overall, you know, everything's lining up real nice. We're getting nice gaps the whole way in through here. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. Um, in the next video you see, I'll pull the cage off this uh, bird cage table. I need to do the inside of these tabs here. It's kind of hard to get in there whenever the cage is bolted onto the frame. So we'll do that later, but you can see everything fits pretty nice. I did have to do a little bit of manipulating on the side. Um, I took some measurements and this door was a little bit lower than that one. And this side of the roof was a little bit higher than that one. So when those two stacked up, I set the roof on top of the car and the roof was higher than the door. So I tried to bend up on this area just a little bit to finesse it, to bring it back up. It was like an eighth inch lower than that side. And then I had to make some relief cuts in the roof to sink this down. There was also a big crease right here. So it must've been some secondary damage from the crash. It kind of bulged this area up. So I relaxed this metal by putting some relief cuts in here. And then I also pinched it in a little bit back here to pull the roof in, um, just to give us a little bit more clearance around here. But overall, the thing looks pretty nice. Let me see if I can, there it goes. So you can see we're gonna have a pretty nice, pretty nice setup here. I have to do a little bit of blending here and I have to remove this piece of old gutter. But you can see the door closes nice on this side. I have to put the striker on that side. I'll make a separate video on this in the future if people are interested. Um, but a general rule of thumb when I do these bird cages is you want to start off with a level foundation with these rockers being level. And then I have it bolted down to the chassis to make sure the spacing's right. Then you kind of want to work front to back in terms of the pillars. You want to make sure this distance to here is correct and the angle and all that stuff. And then with your door, you kind of figure out where your pillar needs to go. And then I introduced the windshield and then I introduced the rest of the roof structure. So we kind of came through all that. Everything seems to line up pretty well. Um, I'm happy with that. I may put a little relief cut in some spots of the windshields to kind of tighten up this, these gaps. I had to do it on the other side. It was pretty bad just the way things lined up there. Um, I try to make it a little better than factory, factory and I try to weld everything up real good. So it's coming together nicely. So the next video we'll pull it off 
uh, this frame, weld those couple spots. I may even tip the bird cage up on its back just to make it easier to weld in the gutters. We'll mock up the new gutters. We'll get all this rust treated, clean the whole thing, and then we'll paint it with this kind of green paint uh, to make it look like the original stuff did. Hopefully in the next video, we'll get all the gutters and bonding strips on uh, and maybe even get the firewall installed. And then we can start working on the floor, the door jams, and I'm just really excited to glue that thing onto this car. So there'll be a lot of stuff coming up here pretty quick in the next couple weeks. It's gonna start looking like a car. So got a lot of work on this thing done this week. All the structure and planning and tweaking and cutting and stuff takes a lot of time just to, it's not a lot of like, it doesn't feel like a lot of progress just because it takes so long, but you sit there and you chip at it little by little. And before you know it, you have the whole cage pretty much wrapped up, which is what happened here. I didn't film some bits here and there just because it takes so long for me to figure it out and just adjusted stuff that it just really slows me down to record it. So sometimes when I get in the groove, I just go for it, which is what happened here. But overall, I think I captured everything that I, I could here. Um, I'm really happy with the way this cage turned out. It just needs a couple more adjustments on it. And like I said, we'll be uh, getting to that next week in the video. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I have a lot of work to do. So I'll catch you guys later.